Archpriest Sergei Baranov, do not cast your pearls before swine. The Holy Trinity Cathedral, Yekaterinburg, 25 September, 2022. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord says the following words in the Holy Gospel. Do not cast your pearls before swine. Matthew 7, verse 6. A swine is an animal which does not have a sense of aesthetics. It cannot evaluate a pearl. Whether it be pearls, stones, gems, or dirt, this does not make any difference to it. This is why it is useless to cast pearls before this animal. In the end, this is not its guilt, as it neither understands nor has it a sense of aesthetics. When the Lord says this phrase, He means, He says this about people. Many people have a sense of aesthetics, to a larger or smaller extent. However, many people do not have a sense of spirituality. They do not feel the spiritual world. When someone says a spiritual word to them, they do not understand what they hear. They understand neither the preciousness of this word nor the value of the spiritual moment. This is why the Lord compares them to swine who do not have a sense of aesthetics. Many people have lost their spiritual sense as all their feelings are aimed for the mundane things. They develop in this direction while there is no development towards spirituality, and thus, people's spiritual sense becomes atrophied. You may talk to them with inspiration and fervently, but see no sparkle in their eyes, as they do not understand what you are talking about. They have no spiritual sense and experience in spiritual life. This is very sad damage to people. First, a human differs from an animal by a sense of aesthetics. A human may practice arts and science and thus differ from animals. But this is not all that a human should have. When God created humans, He gave us a sense of the spiritual world, a sense of God. The memory of this has been preserved among all nations. There is no nation in the world which has never yearned for spiritual issues or did not have any notion of God. Nevertheless, almost all people have lost their spiritual sense. Only a distant and subtle nostalgia remains. Blind people hear from those who surround them about some things. They only hear but do not see. They hear from the seeing how beautiful the sunset is how great it is to look far away. They hear how people admire the colors of the sky. They would like to see the faces of those who are near and dear to them, and not just touch them, but see. They hear that the people close to them are handsome and likable, but they have lost their sight, and this is a big tragedy for them. When we listen to saintly people who return their spiritual sight through the grace of God, they say there is something beyond our vision and hearing, something which is farther, deeper, and subtler. We look them in the eye and realize they are sincere. Their mere spiritual decency makes us believe them. However, unfortunately, we still cannot fathom what they are talking about. If only a human could clear up his or her vision for a while and glimpse the divine world, he or she would have seen how beautiful it is. This would have turned people upside down. If a child lives in a dark and damp basement since his birth, has a slice of bread and a glass of water a day, and knows nothing besides this, this will be the pinnacle of happiness for him. He grows up without knowing anything else, as he has never tried this. If someone asks him, are you happy? He will say, 
Yes, completely. In an hour I will have a slice of bread and a glass of water, and that corner over there is relatively dry and warm. But what will happen if someone exposes this person, who has grown up in a basement, to the light of day? His comeback to a previous state, which only yesterday satisfied him completely and made him happy, this comeback will become hell for him, won't it? It will be unbearable. In order to sell all your property and buy a single pearl, you need to know and realize the price of this pearl. If we do not understand its value, we are like swine, for which a pearl or a piece of garbage does not make any difference. As long as we come to realize its value, we give everything, all our possessions to have this pearl. We think about it during the day. We wake up at night and come back with our thoughts to it. We perceive its value. Today is the day of commemoration of such a graceful and lightful saint, Simeon of Verkhotsurya. Why did he choose this kind of life? A very uncomfortable and sorrowful life. He deprived himself of many things for the sake of seclusion and concentration on spirituality. All of a sudden, he felt, I opened the Minayan and read, he was born to an honorable family and belonged to an upper class. He could live comfortably and enjoy. In a way, to a certain extent, the good things of life. But he abandons everything and lives in poverty. He goes there for the pearl. Suddenly, his spiritual sense opened and reanimated, and he could compare. On the one hand, he had all the prizes of life, and on the other, only one small pearl, which had become more precious than the whole world for him. Now, so much time has passed since then, and he became our treasure. As a spiritual person is a big treasure. It is precious to meet a righteous and saintly person in your life. I mean exactly a saintly, not just a righteous one, as there are many righteous people, but only a few are saintly. Those people are saintly not only by their sainthood, but by the grace of God which fulfills them. It is a big treasure, especially in our times of spiritual poverty, if one meets a saintly person. We go to the far side of the world for this. We save up money in order to go to holy Mount Athos and visit the holy sites. Our eagerness for seeking this bothers us. We yearn. We are tired of listening about Christ. We want to see Christ. This is like a scratched record. The lives of the saints, the lives of the saints. We want to see Him and touch Him. This is a big treasure. In addition, it is very precious in one's spiritual life to find a soulmate, a prayer mate, a spiritual friend, looking at whom you will start to lead a spiritual life with devotion. If he becomes a little cold, he will look at you and light up in his turn. These days the Lord gave me great joy, a spiritual friend. The most precious thing in a person is sincerity. 
The Lord will lay everything on this foundation of sincerity. He will lay righteousness and even sainthood. If only there was sincerity. Cherish your spiritual friends. Hold dear, sincere people. This is great happiness. Thank you all very much for being together today. We have prayed together and prayed very well. Glory to God. Glory to our Lord now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Venerable Father Simeon, stay with us for a while. No, do not stay, but never leave us.